<laughs> hey guys, welcome to Nerdarchy for Nerds by Nerds. I'm Ted, hanging out with some of my colleagues here. Dave. Nate. And uh, today we're exploring the uh, the PDF Players Compendium, looking at some of the new races. And today we're going to talk about the uh, Genesi. Gensei. I don't know. Genasi. However you want to pronounce it, uh, it's it's uh, it's, it's pretty cool because it's something that's actually not in the monster manual that I saw. Yeah, it's, um, but it was big in third edition. I don't maybe second edition too. Probably. I don't I don't remember them in second, but I definitely remember them in third. I thought they uh, were they were a really cool race or races as you will. But and you said you mentioned the uh, player's companion, but it's the player's companion to the Temple of Elemental Evil or yes or something Apocalypse of Evil. What is it? I don't even know. Well, it doesn't but, say here. It says Elemental Evil and Ele- Player's Elemental Companion. Evil uh, and player's Companion. So uh, you're thinking about the Princes of the Apocalypse? Uh, oh yeah, release. well, cause, yeah, because I kind of feel like that's all tied together. It's the same kind of art. All right, so there's a lot here with you know essentially a race with four sub races to. Uh, to get into, so uh, what what do we think about these guys? I don't know. When I saw, it, I was like, "Man, are they going to do the quasi? The quasi oh, like the ash? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. The ash, the smoke. Oh, I think I think that's uh, you know, we have to have to have a book <coughs> all to itself on. Well, it, it could be the lightning. So all right. So again, say what are they? They are people that are basically plain touched with um, elementals. Really, right. you know, um, I always felt. That that's how it should have been done in the player's handbook. There should have been a plain touched race, mm-hmm. and then you know off of that should have been built all the sub races. Mm-hmm. Now, granted, like maybe that wouldn't work as well because like these guys, you know, like all sub races, they share some common denominators. Yeah, you know. the common denominators would not have worked with with but, Tiefling and yeah, like Tiefling. Well, Tiefling and Azamar. It it kind of does because there's certain there are certain similarities yeah where where it's aesthetic but with the with these guys mixing in with those guys maybe not so much because um you know they all get a bonus to con and yeah. then they get a stat somewhere else right which I think is is really really neat um you know so they they all get plus two to con they all get you know you know their, their size medium 30, 30 feet yeah I um, mean that's the only like know. real mechanical trait that matters is. They get the same stat bonus. Right. Everything else is same as all the other races. They're me- they're medium sized. They're not slow. Uh, one of the cool things they do mention is like, if you're against that, you could be you know from a dwarf or gnome lineage. You could be elven. You could be human. You could be half elven. It you know your your one part of your parent your heritage doesn't actually matter, but it might for you know how you describe your character, how, how they look. yeah how how you role play it, how how you look, uh, how you interact with other other. I know NPCs and PCs alike. Um, you know the only dwarf bumbling around in the dark. <laughs> they can't see <laughs> up into the walls. <laughs> yeah, it's such a hard childhood. <laughs> I'm a I'm a dwarf Earth Gensai and I can't see. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, guys, turn on the lights. <laughs> yeah. So, can yeah. somebody strike a torch? <laughs> so we get so we get air, earth, fire, and water. And water. As as uh, the Gen say, and it you know it goes into a little bit of saying like you know, unlike you know the Typhlings, these aren't a true race. You know, it's either you're you're the offspring of some powerful elemental creature, or you were just exposed to you know elemental er- energies at some point, or you know before you were born or whatever, or your mm-hmm. line has, and it, it, almost like a sorcerer, it can just pop up. Yeah, you know somewhere. So which is you know which is kind of cool. It, it's it's different. Like both your parents can be, be completely normal humans, and boom, you're a you're a fire again, say. Come screaming really into the cool. world. So the uh, the the interesting thing about the the breakdown of you know the the Genesi, however you pronounce it, um, is they all get a bump to Khan, and then Khan becomes their spellcasting modifier for their individual uh, sub race spells. Yeah, for their special, powers. which we haven't seen um, yet. Yeah, so that that's a fairly you know unique thing, uh, because Khan isn't really a spellcasting mod for anything anything else in the player's handbook. It is not. So so far we've gone through three races, and all of them are getting something uniquely mechanical. Right. That, yeah, it so, hasn't been done. I kind of I, I kind of like that uh, that breakdown. They um, went crazy over at Watts. Yeah. <laughs> or should I say Sasquatch Studios? <laughs> Break format. Rawr. <laughs> yeah. And Watts is so lightly staffed. They're like, 
Yeah, whatever. Just push it through. <laughs> <laughs> Approved. Next. <laughs> Next. Flying chickens, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> they don't pay me enough for this crap. <laughs> uh, that being said, it, I think it was really well written how they did the Genasi. And uh, I like the little flavor. I mean, pretty much, you know, feels like, you know, when you're a water guy and you can control water. It just feels appropriate. I think, he, like, I think this, the Earth guys, they get boned the most. Oh, yeah. Pass Without Trace doesn't feel like a stone shaping of power to me. I don't know. Yeah. You know, not only does it not feel like a stone shape, like, it's not so much that. It's just so hella weak, man. Merge with stone. I can I can Pass Without Trace. What? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Pass Without Trace does something different than I think I'm pretty does. much pretty sure it just means you can't be tracked. Yeah. You know, like... Which doesn't... You're not stone Their Earth Walk is okay. Okay, but it's very, very, very... You know, subjective. So it's and... difficult terrain on stone. Ooh. So, <laughs> yeah, so yeah. like, you get into so the forest. Natural cave. Or... You're good. Natural cave, right? <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> so it, it, it creates issues. and Well, Earth well, and stone. But, you know, so, like, if you're walking through mud, it doesn't bother you. But if you're walking through a swamp, you're screwed. Yes. Or you're, you know, walking through the desert. So you could walk through a forest then, and if it's difficult terrain based on the ground, you could be okay. Yeah, but not if it's overgrowth. Not if overgrowth, it's a, you're totally, you're totally plants. screwed. Mm. Your rock, plant, plants bother you. Yes. Hmm. <laughs> I mean, you know, I don't know. Maybe like, as a DM, maybe I let them slide them. I, I think they I think what it is. Anytime anything gets a bonus to strength, they really weight it. For that, and I mean, they're getting con and strength, so the, the, you know they're going to make superb warriors. Yeah, but so so do mountain dwarves. The yeah, master race. The master race, and it's true. I mean, if you compare their these abilities here to, I don't know, a half orc, <laughs> you know, they're, it's yeah, it's pretty weak. So I so of them, you know, you know, I actually would I feel more inclined to an earth side than any of the others, but they're the weakest. In my opinion, for what they get, no. you you know me and fire, so I, I definitely lean towards uh towards the the fire Um You know, you get fire resistance, which is the most common elemental damage in the game. Um, yeah, so that that that's pretty good. You get dark vision, which you know is always cool, and the ability to produce flame. Um, added as well as when you reach third level, burning hands. You know, you get burning hands, so you get you know you get more. They're almost as good as the Earth Gensai, almost. Oh, wait, and dark vision. <laughs> so, you know, you you get you get a lot for the fire, the fire, um, you know. And again, since you know the 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 racial spells, you know, you're using your con as your modifier. So even if you decide, you know what, I'm going to go, you know, in a different direction, um, you know, I might get a plus one to intelligence, but I I could be a fighter using these abilities, or I I could. Yeah, you'd make a good eldritch knight. Mm -hmm. Um, they would make a you know obviously a wizard. Yes. So so they do they do have some options. Um, you know even yeah, even a rogue like even if you wanted to go the arcane trickster mm -hmm. like you know Grant Con Con is never a bad stat to get a bump to. <laughs> yeah. Like no one ever is gonna lament. Oh my god, that bonus to that. Plus two to con. What am I gonna do with it? Yeah. But my dump stat. But what if you want to play you know a nod to Raceland? You're gonna have to roll your stats and hope for something really low. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, oh my god, I only have a five because I rolled a three. <laughs> <laughs> I know somewhere as Raceland is looking down at me, just hanging his head in total, dis total despair. All right, so so fire, we say, um, you know, you got Eldritch Knights, you got Arcane Trickster, you got Wizard. You know, th those are your your your, your best three, um, but. Ultimately, you could really, you know, put them, you know, anywhere, um, you know, because you don't have, to, you know, you, you're, <laughs> yo, the Earth gets high. They're a freaking pig pen from the Peanuts. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, I don't know when you're reading the description. I don't know if anybody else went pig pen. I <laughs> did not. I, uh... So like, they all have these traits from their element, and uh -huh. one of theirs is like they're always dirty, or there's always like a dust cloud around them or something. Uh huh. And I'm like, oh my god, it's pig pen. From the peanuts, <laughs> larger scale, <laughs> like my, like more dirt, dude. They totally pissed all over these guys. They gave them like the worst abilities, and they got to be pig pen. <laughs> like, 
Like, thank God for prostitution. These guys would never get laid. They get like a dust cloud. And they probably have to pay more, too. <laughs> maybe, maybe, they, maybe it's... Or they gotta find other Earth Gensai. And these things are so rare. How are you gonna find another one? I mean... Cleric with... Quest. Cleaning it, it would be. It would be. Like, that's why you're an adventurer. You're actually looking for someone who'll actually... Uh, what, spend some quality what's time What's the cantrip that lets you clean things automatically? Is that a precipitation? Yep. Bam. I mean, it's back within minutes, but... Yeah, you're like, why did you become a wizard? Yes. You know, first impressions. <laughs> I'm tired of being dirty! <laughs> first impressions, you know. That you know, could you imagine playing Earth Gensa with OCD? <laughs> oh my god, I'm dirty! Always scrubbing. <laughs> uh, Alright, so Air Gen Gensai. You get common decks. Um, Good combinations, both. Uh, oh yeah, they're, yeah they're, they're, bo they're both solid saving throws. Mm -hmm. Common decks. Common decks and wisdom, they're your, your those, top. Those are your top three. So you get, you get two of the top. Um, again... That opens you up to any kind of rogue, any kind of warrior. Monk. Yeah, monk isn't bad because again, you know, it's freaking con. When is going? When is it going to be bad to have con too much con? So basically, you know, with with these guys, just push the con aside because it's it's not going to apply to any specific, you know, class. Yeah. But it's going to help everything. Help everything because you know you get your hit points. Hit yeah, points. Your, hit points your, your hit points. And, but yeah. and even if you're a caster, right, and you go against type. Your con is your concentration saving throws. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know, sure, it really boosts sorcerers because they get well, that they get save right. They get that as a save. I yeah. mean, if you're con any kind of caster and you take war caster and have a good con, you know you're doing well. If mm -hmm. you if you're a sorcerer and you take war caster and have a good con, you know you can con you're concentrating for days. <laughs> you're like I don't care, set me on fire. I'm still going to concentrate. All right. So uh, Earth Gensai, you said they make you know they make warrior. Warriors, because it's strength and con. Yeah, pretty much. Um, you just have to deal with being dirty and having and, crappy spells. And Earthwalk yes. in you know crazy difficult terrain situations that it's specific to. That's really helpful as a warrior. It doesn't slow you down. So, so it, I, I, I look at I look at the the anytime you get the ability to move over difficult terrain and it's not a shared ability with your party, I view that as okay. I can get to the enemies so that they can surround me. <laughs> uh, or, or when they ambush you, you can run away, and the party will slow them down for you. Okay. All right. Well, yeah. <laughs> I don't. Look, I don't ever think about the running away part. But uh, yeah, there you go. You got well, a good point. Well, maybe we can fix that in one of our upcoming games. Yeah, <laughs> we'll break you of that habit of running towards the enemy. <laughs> uh, so then, uh, you know, we talked about fire. So water, water against side, you get. Well, we really didn't talk about air though. We just talked about their about stats, unending breath, which is they can hold their breath as long as they want. Mm -hmm. So you can't suffocate them. They don't need unless they, you knock them unconscious. They can kind of go underwater because they don't need to breathe as right. long as you don't knock them out. They yeah. won't drown. So I mean, again, it's a situational ability, but it, it's kind of cool. It's flavorful. They get great stats, and then mingle with the wind. We didn't we didn't touch that at all. They can levitate. They can levitate once a day. They can levitate. Uh, you know. So is this going to be super strong? Not really, but it's but it's useful. Yeah. But it, you know, it, it's going to be. It's the same thing as. Yeah, you know, when we talked about the Eric Croak being able to fly, like if there's a is there's a ravine or something, I mean, like kind of like you can do a running start, jump and levitate, and then like kind of float over there. Yeah. You know, or if you need to go up high, you can get get up there with the rope and be like, all right, guys, or you can go you know, levitate, and if you're an archer, a rain death death down from below above. or a spellcaster. So, you know, it, it you know it's a good spell to have. I mean, it's almost as good as uh, Murderous Stone, but you know. We can't all have that. <laughs> You're like, why won't this guy just leave it alone? <laughs> you really want to get next Earth season to do is be talking about dragon boobs again. It never ends. <laughs> you just really want the Earth Genside to not be uh... suck. <laughs> Pig yeah. pen and stink. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like that's that that's my only th my only thing about those. So water Gensai, you get oh, you the con no, and no, wisdom. No god. <laughs> you got me saying Gensai now. Gensai, we, we broke you. We broke you. If it's Genesis, it's Genasi. All right, there, done. Genesis, Genesis. The beer Genasi. or the band? Whichever. They're both <laughs> pronounced the same. Suppose <laughs> the beer was Guinness. Uh, there is a Guinness, but there's a Genesee as well. Oh, okay. It's a uh, really cheap <laughs> beer. It doesn't taste very good, and well, I've never had it, so I can't comment upon so, it. So, so water, you get resistance to acid. You can breathe air and water. So uh, and you have a swim, you have swim. You speed. got a swim speed. So again, new mechanic, um, you know. And then the ability to cast uh, shape water and destroy water, create or destroy water. So, so I think water fire, is actually the best one. Fire and water really got 
they're obviously clearly the winners of the elemental race. Yeah. I, I think water might be a little bit better than fire. I mean, like fire, you're like, oh, you can attack with it, and it's more offensive. Yeah. Um, and you're going to deal with resistance a little bit more. But, you know, I feel like... I, I feel like the wisdom and con are way better than con and intelligence. Mm. And we're a, looking a at elemental cleric, resistance. We're looking at cleric. We're looking at monk. We're looking at... Druid. Druid. We're looking at warrior classes. Like, there's a lot of versatility there. Resistance to acid is nice. Being able to, to swim and be able to breathe air and water is, is pretty darn cool. You know, somebody can somebody can suffocate you, but they can't drown you. Um, yeah, well, you know. that's true. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I looked at it. If you, you know, tried to suffocate them underwater, would you suffocate them? Can you drown them in acid? <laughs> I mean, they can breathe water. All right. But if you s prevent them from breathing water, they will suffocate in water. Just saying. Um. On that note, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, you know, sh shape water. Uh, having having a you know, you know, do you guys have the have the, the the thorough memorization of that one? Oh heck no! No, yeah. it's a cantrip, and basically you can you can move it around. You can ex you can expand it. Um, it's going. I don't know that it's going to be super useful as far as um, you know combat or stuff. It, it's almost like a pre prejudication with you know w with an yeah. element as opposed to but you know what dude you could you could totally drink without getting out and be like <laughs> <laughs> a little fountain a little, a little. yeah well that's it man you can you you can you can refresh the party without anybody having to move i'm gonna create water and then i'm just gonna move it all over the place so i mean it, it's thematic and I, I suspect there's definitely instances where you're going to be able to find creative ways to use that but again, you know, it's it's a cantrip, so... But they get so much other stuff. They're so cool. They're so cool. I, I want to play like a monk or a cleric of one now. So total would be a water... water uh, uh, Gensai, and then... Or, or druid, man. A water druid. Like, no, you, you want to be a cleric, and you want to worship dude. the fire god, don't you? No, I want to... Just for craziness. I, no, I want to be a druid and turn into... And wild, be a wild-shaping druid and turn into stuff that can't breathe underwater and just, like, breathe underwater. <laughs> Because you still get your you because it's not a it doesn't say it's a physical thing right so like you could totally be like a lion underwater yep sea lion <laughs> <laughs> you can do a lot with the shape water ability so which Ted didn't read uh, <laughs> you can freeze water and it lasts an hour you can turn it into animals or simple shapes and uh, it lasts an hour uh, you can change its color and opac uh, opacity uh, and again that lasts an hour. And uh, you can move it, but it doesn't do enough force to do damage, so you can't like. Yeah, so you can do cool creative things. Yeah, you, you and can... you can have two of the effects that last more than instantaneous amount for for. You'd be an awesome bard without being a bard. So what I what I see is you like, can do okay. puppet shows with with water. I, I, yeah, there you go. I and then freeze it into an ice sculpture. I'd make a fortune. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you'd be the talk of nobility. I, right I, I there. totally see it as a you know like you kind of you kind of go roguey. You know, look, make yourself uh, you know with a disguise kit, turn turn yourself into a wizard, and you know you you make the the water turn turn red, put it in the in the in the potion bottles, and sell it as healing potions. So it'd be helping your charlatan uh, aspect there. It, yeah, it'd be a really good sell. a good background for charlatan. <laughs> Or no. you could do a bunch of the Jesus stuff on a like really small scale. <laughs> <laughs> I part the water, but it's like a fountain. <laughs> <laughs> but look, his feet aren't getting wet in that fountain. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you turn the you turn the you, you turn the wine into clear wine <laughs> if it was red or water to make it look, look like I've wine. Turned it into water. It's still alcoholic, but it totally looks like water, man. Yeah, or, or vice versa. Be like, look, it's red like wine, but it still tastes like you're water. Gonna, you're Ooh. not going to correct on it. It wasn't Jesus a part of the waters. No, but Whatever. thanks for doing it. <laughs> <laughs> and you cannot walk on water. Yeah. Well, so. you could freeze little tiny booties. Uh, like, ice. like like ninja, like the ninja water walking shoes. <laughs> and then you can move every round. You can move it five feet. Be like, uh, uh, I, be like uh, I, I suspect uh, it is time to end this video because we're getting sillier and sillier. So I agree. Nerd, maybe nerdarchy has been drinking the wine, but anyway, you guys can like, <laughs> no, looks like water. comment, subscribe, share, all that good stuff.
<laughs> you uh, can uh, go check out our Patreon and uh, help us bring you guys more awesome videos. You can also check us out on our Facebook page. So until next time, stay, stay nerdy. nerdy.